Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know, like subscribe, and share to help support our channel. If you have not already done so, pick up your free trial copy of the Currency Exchange Planner and check out the all-new Currency Exchange Planner Companion, voted the number one pre- and post-RV planning tool for the Dinar community. Also, download your free blockchain-based secure Brave browser, and get paid to surf the internet today. There are many different ways to make money in crypto, the Brave browser is one of the easiest. Both the links are in the description box below this video. First article of interest for today. The central bank clarifies the fact that it is not possible to pay salaries next month. The central bank of Iraq confirmed, on Monday, the availability of employee salaries for the month of April next after paying the salaries of the current month of March, and while he indicated that the country will not reach the stage of the crisis, he made it clear that the monetary reserve of Iraq is currently $60 billion. I have no reason to be pessimistic about the financial situation and salaries, indicating that April salaries are currently available with the Ministry of Finance, the bank's director of accounting, Isan Shamran, said in televised statements that I followed. He added that the central bank will not leave Iraq in danger stressing that the country will not reach the stage of danger or the stage of crisis and panic. In a related context, Shamran stressed that Iraq's cash reserves are currently $60 billion, pointing out that there is no reason to worry about that. Concerning the options put forward to print the currency, Shamran stressed that there is no longer anything after his name, the printing of the currency, and this cannot be contemplated at all. Next article of interest. Parliamentary crisis. There is no legal objection to sending the budget to Parliament to confront Corona. The parliamentary crisis cell confirmed, on Monday, that there is no legal objection to sending the financial budget to Parliament by the government, stating that approving the budget will end the crisis of providing funds in the face of Corona. The committee spokesman, Fela Alziadi, said in a statement to information that the resigned government avoided sending the budget to Parliament not because there was no legal basis, but because of the large budget deficit without the government finding any solution to this crisis. Al Ziadi added, the sending of the budget and an amendment by the House of Representatives, especially regarding the allocations of the Ministry of Health, will contribute to strengthening the war against Corona in Iraq at an early date. The spokesperson for the cell pointed out that the parliament crisis cell is in continuous contract with all government agencies in order to import medical supplies and health tools that contribute to the ruins of life. Next article of interest. Strategic expert. The net Iraqi oil price reaches $10. Meaning the state bankruptcy. The strategic expert, Karim al-Karawi, revealed that the net oil price for Iraq is only $10 noting that this matter means bankruptcy of the state treasury. Al-Karawi told al Akbaria that oil reached $20, foreign production companies deducted production costs and accounting firms also deduct a percentage from it, as well as Kuwait compensation and loan interest, which means that its net price to Iraq reaches $10. He explained that the extraction companies are not obligated to reduce production, and this means bankruptcy of the state treasury and will lead us to the same position as Greece. Foreign debt and expenditure pressure, but before all these steps we need an economic mindset, such as the Greek financial whiz who led negotiations with Europe. Next article of interest. The New York Times. Iraq is suffering at all levels due to declining oil revenues and corona. The American New York Times published a report on the situation in Iraq while noting that this country is suffering economically, politically, security and health. According to the newspaper, Iraq suffers on almost all levels, after declining oil revenues, the main source of government revenue, the failure to form a government since the resignation of Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi last November, the outbreak of the coronavirus and the government's failure to obtain material assistance to combat the virus. He added that the imposition of a curfew to try to combat the outbreak of the virus led to the closure of shops, 
and the loss of most non-governmental employees for their jobs. On the security side, the newspaper stated that Iranian-backed armed groups are still launching regular attacks on American forces, the last of which was last Thursday when two rockets landed near the U.S. Embassy in the Green Zone, threatening to further draw Iraq into an American-Iranian conflict. The Worst Days For his part, Riyadh al shahan 56, a retired military man, told the newspaper, This is the worst day we lived in Iraq. I lived the Iran-Iraq war, the uprising, Saddam Hussein, but these days are worse. The newspaper pointed out that the Iraqi authorities announced the registration of 547 confirmed cases of coronavirus until Sunday, but they are carrying out very limited tests, stressing that the true number is several times greater. In turn, the economist Bassem Antoine, a consultant to former Prime Minister Haider al-Abadi, stressed that, what makes the situation grim in Iraq is that the mix of crises that he suffers has virtually eliminated the entire economy. He added, the current economic situation is worse than what we saw before because all productive sectors have been suspended. We're witnessing almost complete paralysis in economic life. There is no industry, no tourism, no transportation, and agriculture is affected to some extent. Antoine pointed out that Iraq's reserves amount to $62 billion, which the International Monetary Fund considers insufficient. The Collapse of Oil Prices During the past weeks, the suffering of the Iraqi economy increased after the drop in oil prices to less than half due to the price war between Saudi Arabia and Russia. The price of a barrel became about $30, instead of $60 at the end of last December. Fata Birol, executive director of the Paris-based International Energy Agency, stressed that the drop in prices dealt a severe blow to the oil-dependent economies, but the stronger blow will be to Iraq due to the crises that it is suffering. He added that Iraq is the most affected country because it does not have financial reserves and because 90% of its revenues come from oil, and all these economic pressures come in a very tense political environment already. Meanwhile, Syed Jayashi, a member of the National Security Council, who is also a member of the Prime Minister's Coronary Combating Virus Committee, stressed that the government created a fund for donations to help it during this period, and that it raised less than $50 million, noting that the government is currently experiencing a deficit, monthly just over $2 billion in current expenditures. The Private Sector The American newspaper pointed out that the private sector in Iraq is limited and has been subjected to a heavy blow due to the imposition of curfews for 24 hours after the outbreak of the coronavirus and the extension of the ban until April 11. Construction workers, itinerant vendors, and taxi drivers have been forced to stay in their homes, due to the embargo, which has exacerbated their suffering, because most of them live on what they earn daily, have no savings and they may soon be on the brink of hunger, she added. It is difficult to say how long such a huge economic pain can be tolerated, but it is particularly difficult in the absence of political leadership, Iraqis told the newspaper. Iraq was already facing the worst political crisis in years before the virus spread and oil prices fell. Hundreds of thousands of demonstrators took to the streets since last October demanding a new government, isolating the ruling political class and ending Iranian influence. Hassan Ali, 20, said an Iraqi youth who was visiting a religious shrine despite urging him to stay at home, said he refuses to warn the government because Iraq does not have a government. The government is very weak, it is very tired, they have no solution to crises, nor a solution for young people who have no jobs, no one can rely on the government. It is reported that in mid-March, the Minister of Health, Ja Afar Sadiq Alawi, said that he would need $150 million a month to purchase the equipment he needed to combat the virus, but he only collected a small portion of this amount amid warnings about the worsening of the coronavirus crisis in Iraq in the coming weeks. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, hit the like and subscribe button to be alerted as more articles of interest videos are posted.
Be sure to visit my Denarian blog for all of today's articles of interest and find me on Facebook as I also post them on there as well. Pick up your free trial copy of the newly upgraded Currency Exchange Planner and check out the all-new Exchange Planner Companion before you leave. Use the promo code, the Denarian, to get 25% off at checkout when you decide to unleash the full planner's abilities, along with the mobile application added free for being my subscriber. Register today as an affiliate with the Gold Savings Carrot Bar program. If you do not keep your savings in a real asset like gold, you risk everything as the fiat system fails. Protect your family's wealth today in physical gold, as tomorrow may be too late. This program is made so even low-income people can buy gold, by offering it one gram at a time, which makes it affordable to everyone. Get involved today. It's free to register and secure your family's savings tomorrow. All of the links to these invaluable programs are available in the description box below this video. Go check them out. Knowledge is power. Using that knowledge is powerful. Over and out for now. The Denarian.